Today I want to tell you about the worst moment that I ever had when it comes to designing uh, websites. This happened almost like 12 years ago. I was just woke up in the morning hoping that I will have a usual day, spending the day with my work and spending the night with my family and doing the usual stuff. But when I opened my inbox, I found out that I'm re I have received an email from Google saying that my website was removed from the search results of Google because my website was hacked. And this meant a disaster for my, my business. At this point of time, I was just working in my translation business and having a good looking and a secured website was an essential part of my uh, marketing strategy because I always asked people to check out my website to um, have a look at my services and then we can discuss my our you know business relationship together and having a hacked website means that I couldn't ask people to check out my website and even when someone is searching online for services that I was offering at this time I will not be able to show up or my website will not be uh, shown up in the search results of Google. I did a, um, like I asked and help from a third party, I asked someone to have a look at my website and he discovered that when someone is, when Google is showing my, my website in their search results, all my search results were written in, a, I think Chinese or Korean characters, although my website was actually written in English. That's why Google removed my results and the reason for showing my results or my pages into a Chinese or a Korean characters because my website was hacked because I didn't take care of my website security at this point and it's, it's not like this only this was not enough but also I discovered that I did not have a backup of my website and do you know what does this mean? It means that I had to rewrite, not only redesign my website, but I had to rewrite all of my website pages, all of my blog posts and everything for uh, as a new website because I didn't have a backup. And since then, I became more serious about my website security because neglecting uh, the security of my website could mean, could mean a lot of disasters. For example, if you are using your website to sell online courses or any type of digital or physical products, having a website hacked means that the information of your customers or clients or students will be available to, to, to another third party, which is a big deal when it comes to your customers' security or for their personal information. Also, if you are depending on um, Search engine optimization or SEO, it means that if you are just using a strategy that where you write content so your website will show up in the search results when someone is searching for your services, having a hacked website will mean your website will not appear in the search results of, for example, Yahoo or Google or Bing or whatever search engine that you are targeting. Also, having a website means that you will have to spend maybe days to recover from the hacked website. So it means you will have to spend so much time trying to recover your website and maybe you will have to pay a lot of money to recover your website as well. And since then I started to follow like five up to seven steps, like basic steps to secure my website. And because I know that it is very important to have a well-protected website by having only the baseline steps or procedures to protect your website that's why i have prepared a free checklist with the seven steps that will make your life much easier when it comes to website security you'll find the link to this checklist down below or you can find it at abuzawb forward slash list during this list i will give you my as i mentioned my five my seven steps where you, uh, which you should follow to protect your website. Also, I'm giving you my recommendation for the best tools or plugins that you need to follow to protect your website. Having an online presence always means that your website is in danger of being hacked. But following these me, these uh, main seven steps will means that will mean that 
you'll have like a fewer chance of having your website hacked, especially when it comes to the first step, which is about having to back up your website. I'm giving you many options of how you can back up your website. Again, you'll find my free checklist about how you can secure about the seven steps that you should follow to secure your website with ease down below or you can check my website abuzaidwb forward slash list and you can definitely download this checklist for free now thank you so much and see you in the next video